What's up guys? Welcome back. We're going to resume right where we left off, except with a little bit of a difference. I changed my mind on that. Let's uh come down here. And I've got a pretty decent amount of this ash block. So we're going to build a nicer arena, one where I'm guaranteed to get nice hits out on the wall of flesh, and not only am I going to be guaranteed to get better hits on the wall of flesh, but with a somewhat nicer arena, perhaps it'll be an easier fight than what it would be. And besides, I sort of want to show people the right way to do this instead of like the I have OP gear and the fight's not going to last long kind of way. Because <laughs> when you don't have wings and you don't have good gear like I have, this fight is tough, guys. Especially for newer players who just don't understand what the Wall of Flesh is or what it does. It can be a tough fight. And you always want a good arena. Let's see how close to the edge of the world we are. Uh, how close is that? We still have all that crimson to go through as well. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to build a little bit of an end point right there. Whoa, hey, looky what we have here. Oh no, I need that. Inventory, please. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do some torches. That'll help clear some inventory space, I believe. I really don't need these emerald torches. I don't need tin ore. I want to keep the iron ore because I sort of feel like I need it. The spear statue, not really a thing. Bombs, these, the presents, don't need any of that. Now I have myself a guide voodoo doll. That is the item we will need in order to get this wall of flesh fight going. Once we're ready though, all in, all in good time. Oh goodness. <laughs> Building an arena in the underworld is always frustrating because of stuff like this. Especially the arch demons. Even with OP gear, look at all the. Uh, I did that on purpose. Uh, he, the arch demons drop crystal shards, and crystal shards are actually a very, very rare resource, even in the uh, late game. So, yeah. It's always a good idea to farm those when you can. Especially if you are a gun slinger type of character. If you're going to be like a gun user, I would say farming crystals is of the utmost priority for you. Simply because they can be used to craft some pretty nice ammo. I think they're also used in some armor uh, crafting later in the game as well. But I could be wrong about that. I'm not a big... I'm not too sure about that. That might be false. I may be giving you false information there. But anyway, onwards. Don't really have too much more of these uh, ash blocks. Okay, so that's where it stops, right there. This is going to be our arena. If you are new to Terraria and you, uh, this is your first time doing this, never have bumps like I'm standing on. Never have little stairs or bumps or any of that. Never do that. Make sure it is one even flat surface like what I'm standing on right now. Make sure it's up about right here, too. You want it about midway so you don't run into any obstacles like I'm standing on. Um... Make sure you have very clear open lines of sight. That is key to this boss fight. 
very, very much the key to this boss fight. I don't expect this to last very long. And that's why I am not uh, too concerned. But yeah. I'm going to kill off the remaining Hellbats here. Swap back over. And let's begin this fight. He should be coming from the direction I'm facing. Which he is. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen, that is pretty much how you do it. Now, I'm actually going to do a screenshot. Anyway, that's how the wall of flesh is done. It's not exactly the hardest thing when you've got gear like mine, but it's nice to be able to show people that. Now, I'm going to go up here. We're going to collect a few things. I didn't get an emblem last time, so it would be really cool if I got an emblem. I got a warrior emblem. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. It's the 15% uh, increased melee damage and plus 2% damage. It's really a good item, but if anything, I was really wanting either the ranger emblem or the sorcerer emblem. But yeah, whatever, you know, it happens. Now that all that is done, Let's go back here. Where is... Oh, I see my goblin. Oh, it's about that time, guys. So there we go. We are now in hard mode. We've gotten the Wall of Flesh out of the way, the Brain of Cthulhu, the Eye of Cthulhu. We've gotten all that out of the way. Look how far we have come. Okay, and I've still got my money on me. Here's how you reforge right here. There's a lot of gold. Angry, menacing, goodness, lucky, menacing, lucky, armored. We're gonna we're gonna go with armored for now, cause that's that's a lot. And I do mean that is a lot of gold that I just went through. Jagged, spiked, rash, brisk, angry, quick, angry, hasty. We are looking for warding, if at all possible. There it is. <sighs> also, let's uh, let's pop back down here and just sort of see what all kind of stuff we can make with all of this. I don't know if it's here. No, it's not gonna be here. What is this? Cast a controllable rainbow. Soul of Light, Soul of Sight. I think I've got these materials. I legit think I have these materials, guys. Should I... 77 magic damage? Is this the birth of my, uh... My magical tune here? I think that's... I think that's the birth of my magical tune. What is this business? Okay, so that's the first time I've noticed that. Let's, uh... Is there any other armor that I could make? Okay, so here's where the fun things come in. So I've got flurry boots and rocket boots makes the specter boots. Oh, that's new. Ah, oh, I've missed the goblin tinker so much. Look at how much stuff is here. Okay, so I need the cobalt shield, is what I need. Now, the mana regeneration... 
definitely what I need. Okay, so let's do some looking in my my gear boxes here. We're gonna downstack everything. We're gonna take this. Anything that's an accessory, we're gonna take. Like these uh, feral gloves. The warrior emblem doesn't really do me much good. 5% size. That sounds like a good trade. So yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to drop this other one off. Right here. Along with this angel statue. So. Let's continue to grab some stuff. How long has this video been going? Only 11 minutes. We are doing great on time. So, also I want to grab these souls of sight. And the reason I want to do that is because I've seen that awesome rainbow death thingy that I really want to get. I mean, that looked pretty awesome, right? Let's go ahead and grab these uh, flurry boots. The anklet of the wind, the obsidian rose, the horseshoe, all this stuff that is, uh, yeah, stuff and things, accessories. We're going to need these crystal shards. We'll need the rest of these souls. Here's my obsidian skull, which I will be combining with the shield. Now here's the bands of regeneration that I have obtained. Let's see here. What else is there? You know what I think I did not grab or that I just don't have for that recipe? Pixie dust. I'll have to go grab some of that from the other world. Again, I won't do that on camera but yeah I don't think I have those I'm gonna need some uh, pixie dusts I did grab my statues which are right here that's about all I grabbed I didn't think pixie dust was so important but as it turns out I'm going to need a lot of it so yeah I got eight pixie dust <laughs> I don't think that even begins to to cover what I need though. And I'm going to go ahead and take this. I love that thing so much. I have a little bat pet. I like my little bat because he's cool. I've also got bat wings that I could create. But I don't really have the, uh, the stuff to do that. So let's come back down here. And let's look. I can make the obsidian horseshoe. Okay, first thing I want to do is make the obsidian shield, because yeah. Next thing, we can make the specter boots. Okay, now what are my my options here. Did I just equip those? So now let's make the lightning boots. Yeah. What is this? Frost spark boots. I would need ice skate. Which I thought I had an ice skate. I'm going to grab some of those too. Because I do in fact have an ice skate somewhere. That's like chlorophyte value right there. That's a very, very good piece of gear. So, 
with all that being said, I think I'm going to end this video here. And when we come back... Well, no, not quite yet. Hang on just a moment. Because the, uh... The obsidian shield, I'm going to keep as the obsidian shield. There's nothing that's really going to be done to the obsidian shield. So let's go reforge the shit out of that as I check all these chests one more time to make sure I did not actually bring my ice skate with me. More rocket boots. Uh, no ice skate to be found in there. Mining potion and some feathers. Also sort of keeping my eye open for pixie dust and I'm not seeing any. Wait. There's my ice skate. You know what? I'm literally going all the way back down there for a tinkerer's workshop when I got one right here. Did it? Why is it equipping it? That's so annoying. So now I have frost spark boots. So yeah. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. Um, let's go ahead and take these. Put them up here. Go back and see just how bad he's going to hit us on reforging. So this isn't that bad. Go ahead and reforge. It's menacing. Menacing again. Fleeting. Armored. Oh. Uh, really want warding. Dude. Well, whatever, I guess. That sort of sucks. Hmm. Well, looks like I'm going to need more money. <laughs> Hang on just a moment. I'm also not seeing any bands of star power. Man, that's so sucky. This is already warding. So I need that. Those are warding. I wonder just how much it's going to cost for me to reforge this. Okay, buddy. Say I wanted to reforge these. How much would it cost me? 11 gold. Had a feeling. Hmm. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to look for these. And probably anything else that I could use to get some quick cash. To finish reforging the shield. Which I'm not really seeing anything other than crystal, and they're not getting my crystal. The gel doesn't really sell for much. Probably sell this. That can be sold. That's highly sellable. Eh. Palladium ore will definitely sell. What else have we got here? This palladium ingots and emeralds will sell. Look at me pawning all my stuff just to do this. I grab all my souls mainly because yeah I just want to make sure I have everything to do this thing and get that rainbow rod that thing looks pretty awesome I want to shit rainbows on people I mean doesn't that sound amazing and then other than that we have crimtain ore which I can sell then yeah I don't really know what's in this uh oh I 
Man, those make you run super fast. That's awesome. I like it. Let's go ahead and shop here. Oh, wow. Look at that. 21 gold. Gonna have those. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sell those. You can have that. Wow, not even one gold for that, but 21 gold for these. That's pretty much a double standard. Go ahead and take my diamonds off my hands for me, buddy. All the palladium ore is yours. All these palladium bars are yours. All this crimtain ore is yours. All these titanium bars are yours. The emeralds are yours. Topaz, not really helping me, but whatever. Every little bit counts. Okay. Now, when we go back to the weapons and stuff, this rainbow rod, I've got this part and this part. I need 60 and 4 and 30. So, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I'm going to end this episode here. And when we come back, I'll have the necessary ingredients to make that. And we also now have 82 more gold to try and reforge this shield to warding. So, as always, guys, I hope you all dream of neon, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.